Well, hello guys. We got another beautiful day here in Paris and we are off to a bit of a late start. Um, it is 2.30. Um, I wanted to get out way earlier than that, but uh, I had to kind of do some kind of work uh, before leaving and working out. I finally booked my apartment or where I'm staying in Tokyo, which I'm so happy to have taken care of. So kind of was a necessity to get that all taken care of. But nevertheless, uh, I am ready to have an absolutely amazing day walking around and outfit of the day. I kind of want to keep pretty simple. So I've just got my French Connection black turtleneck that I have been wearing like crazy because I did did not pack enough warm clothes so I have that my BCBG Max Osria jacket that I bought in Tokyo like five years ago from a sample sale from 1200 to 250 pretty amazing and then I have some uh, black ripped jeans that I don't remember from where some vegan leather boots an incredible ring from Thailand my grandmother's earrings that she gifted to me while I was there and then of course a little headband of flowers that I got um, from when I was in Kiev so to show my national pride that's kind of my uh, inspiration for today's outfit a little bit of rock and roll a little bit of Ukraine and a whole lot of red and black so anyways I hope you guys are ready for some incredible sightseeing here in Paris and let's get going So I am just approaching the main entrance of the Louvre here and I'm not going to be going in today uh, since I only have pretty much three days here in Paris and I'm going to go try and see and do things that I haven't done before. The last two times that I went to Paris, uh, both times I went to the Louvre and though they were definitely quite short and <laughs> lived in comparison to what I'd like to actually spend in there but I mean it is a bit fruitless since to actually see every single thing in the Louvre like to even just glance at it I read it would take nine months yeah here we are and honestly like there are other incredible museums in the world but I think the Louvre really does stand out on its own because it's just like <laughs> what other museum would you have to take nine months to see everything in and what kind of other museum has this absolutely incredible view We are just walking the grounds and kind of been thinking I could use a coffee so I will try and find a nice little shop that maybe has some macrons of course and a really strong black coffee. Just behind me over here is the Jardin des Tuileries. I actually haven't taken much of a walk in there so yeah if I could find a strong black coffee, a little snack, I think I'm gonna go take a walk in the gardens. Hey guys, so I actually didn't end up going to the park. Um, my intuition, and from now on I will definitely be listening to it because it has not led me astray, anyways, told me to go down this one street and what do you know, they had my favorite macarons which is Pierre Hermé which uh, I actually tried first in Tokyo and honestly like even compared to Lottery, even compared to you know the so many different French brands that I've had, this is definitely the best one that I've ever had but I have not had them in Paris yet, I've only had them in Tokyo. So I'm super excited to try them and funny enough this sort of meander <laughs> caused me to find the Palais Garnier which is right behind me. So there it is in all its glory. It's absolutely beautiful and there's this big sort of roundabout that goes um, all around it and then over here if you can see there is Galleries Lafayette which I was planning to go to later today but honestly like since I'm here I may as well go here. Now all I need to find is some coffee. shining brightly and here is the beautiful obelisk um, 
that was a gift from uh, Egypt, I believe, during the Second World War. This was also the place where lots of people got decapitated, uh, Marie Antoinette, Louis the Sixteenth, all during the Revolution, to name a few. Yeah, it's an absolutely spectacular square. There really are no words uh, for what it's like standing here and having like all this traffic just like rush past you. You can pretty much kind of, you know, see all corners of the city where you want to go. It's about 8 o'clock right now and I mean I spent a bit more time than I planned at Lafayette so uh, I think it's time to grab some supper and uh, I think I'm actually going to make my way down to the scene and do a little walk around the water and maybe I'll even make my way to the Eiffel Tower though I don't know it might be deceiving it's like it looks like it's not that far away you know but it's like I've, I've had this trick happen before where I'm like oh yeah that's like a half hour walk like I'll be there super quick and since I don't have Wi-Fi uh, right now I don't know how long it's gonna take but yeah I don't want to be walking forever but somehow I feel like it is manageable I mean we're gonna find out like if all else fails I'll just you know take the subway home but yeah let's see if I can get to the Eiffel Tower tonight <laughs> Obviously this is as touristy as it gets and I've been here the other times uh, that I came to Paris and yeah it's just such an interesting structure because uh, it was actually just an exhibit for the World Fair that was going on in Paris and I don't even know what year but uh, yeah people seem to like it so much that they decided to keep it around for a little while longer and then once it pretty much became like the symbol of Paris you could say to the dismay of some Parisians because they said it was like a disgrace to the skyline but um, yeah I don't think it's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon because this is pretty much you know the emblem of Paris that everyone knows so my one claim to glory though is that I did climb to the um, like top that you can go to or whatever by climbing the stairs and I think it took me about like I don't know 15-20 minutes or so so I'm pretty proud of myself for that and yeah it's always like an amazing view from there and I was thinking about climbing it tonight since I've actually never done it quite at night but it's like I don't know <laughs> 10 30 11 o'clock right now and I have been walking like all day so I think I'm just gonna go uh, walk further down in the gardens here and like take some pictures and stuff and then I'm gonna head home but yeah tomorrow I have a really long day ahead of me so I kind of want to get to bed early but I'm super excited that I got to come here and see the tower at night it kind of worked perfectly with my walk today hope you guys have a fantastic evening I am going to get to bed here soon enough and until tomorrow au revoir